Your Hardware Canucks 2014 CES coverage is brought to you by NCIX, technology connected. Okay, so G-Sync has been announced with multiple monitors. BenQ is one of the partners that are sort of jumping onto this G-Sync uh, band. So right behind me, this is an XL 2720G G-Sync monitor. It's a 27-inch uh, panel. It's a TN panel, of course, uh, like the rest of G-Sync uh, monitors. It is uh, 1080p resolution, so uh, we recently heard ASUS announce their ROG monitor that is a 1440p, but it is a very competitive panel, priced to be announced, uh, and we're hoping that this uh, type of uh, shift towards G-Sync with all different board partners uh, from NVIDIA are going to have uh, very competitive pricing uh, because we know what the 1440p monitor is going to be priced at, so hopefully this is going to give us uh, sometime something you know, very competitive pricing. But as you can see, it is uh, running G-Sync at the moment. Uh, very smooth, very op uh, very smooth operation, stutter-free, lag-free, tearing-free. And that's exactly what we want to see for, for your gaming experience. All right, two more things to check out here at BenQ. Uh, one is this uh, monitor here. This is the 240 2460HT. Um, this is a 24-inch uh, LED panel, so it, it is an HAVA, AHVA panel. Uh, 1080p resolution, one millisecond response time, and one of the interesting things about this panel is that it has HDMI out. So if you notice closely, we're running here a game. On the second monitor, we are running an HDMI out from here to HDMI in, in this monitor. This effectively gives you the same, uh, you know, it gives you two monitors running from the same uh, same game. Here they have set up two consoles so that you can compete. So you can basically looking at this monitor while this is while this joystick is connected to this machine and this gives you that advantage uh, for perhaps gaming, perhaps productivity. Uh, and so one more thing to check out here is uh, th this uh, professional art monitor. So this is the PG2401PT. So this is a professional panel. As you can see, we have this nice hood with velvet uh, internals. It does come with its own color, col color calibrator, and that's an awesome thing to see. This is a 24 panel, 1920 by 1200, kind of what we've come to expect from professional art monitors. and. You know, if you're a professional designer who cares about a lot about color accuracy, this of course is very important. The hood, uh, the color accuracy uh, from it is factory calibrated with uh, Delta uh, less 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 or up to two, which is awesome to see exactly what we need to expect from a professional art monitor like this. It does have a light sensor at the bottom, as you can see there. Uh, this means that it will not, if for example, if you leave your desk, it will detect that you're not there and will shut off the monitor by itself. It also has a built-in light meter. Uh, depending on what type of lighting situations you're at, uh, it will either you know bump up the brightness or lower the brightness, depending on the situation. Of course, that can be disabled if you really care about color accuracy. I would uh, recommend sort of disabling the auto brightness adjustment, uh, but it does have that uh, auto turn off feature in case you leave the monitor. So this is their uh, PG2401 PT. Uh, it will be priced uh, competitively based on what e else is out there for 24 inch professional art monitors. It's going to be priced, uh, I think, just under $1,000, uh, giving us the, the consumers that color accuracy uh, and everything that we want from you know, a professional monitor like so. So this concludes our BenQ coverage here at CS 2014. Guys, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you freaking love this panel. I do love that panel. But uh, don't forget to check out the rest of our CS 2014 coverage.